What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Nan. Crowned Otaku. Latest chapter of Black Clover came out uh, about a day, maybe two days ago from now. But I'm a little behind, but I'm getting back on top of it. You see me, right? You see me, though. So, my prediction was a little off. And by off, I mean revealed in this chapter off. But hear me out. I'm going to tell you why I still think I'm right a little later. So, it turns out it was the money-hungry Geralot dude. The purple orca, whatever. He's the purple color Magic Knight captain. Turns out that's the brainwashed two people. That's what they said the traitor is. He's been doing deals. And yeah, he is shady. I don't think he's a traitor per se. I don't think he's the traitor. He has a lot of... We saw a little bit of backstory for him. He has a lot of blackmailing deals, willing and dealing. He can turn invisible, listen in on conversations. So he's blackmailed a ton of people to get his money. Highly illegal? Yes. Hands and dirty stuff? Yes. Does that make him a traitor? No. Not even a little bit yet. Now, they wanted to go into his memories and they were like, if you think you're not guilty, then let me brainwash you and get all that information out of you. And he's like, no, you can't do that. Because it's not because he's the traitor. It's because he has precious information on a lot of people in a lot of high places that should not be shared. If she tapped into his mind, he's probably thinking, holy crap, she could either blackmail me, she could go after the people that's giving me this money, or she could take down this whole ring we have going on. I can't let that happen. I'm going to break out. I'm going to prove my own innocence and we good to go. Now, I know what you're thinking. The two capturers were brainwashed and were forced to tell the truth and they clearly said he was the one who was the traitor. Yeah, about this. I got a good possibility that could have happened. I'm still with it's the Golden Dawn dude. The number, the number two. I still think it's him and I think what he did when he met with all of the lower rank subordinates He's so powerful, right? He's number two. He's got to be really powerful. I think somehow there was some camouflage magic he used to, like, cloak himself and make himself maybe appear as another Magic Knight captain. So as far as the underlings knew, sure, the purple orca, the purple orca dude was the traitor because that's who he appeared as. So I think he cloaked himself, changed his appearance because how stupid can you be to walk in planning to overthrow your own kingdom dressed as yourself. That's an amateur move, and this dude ain't no amateur. He's not number two for a reason. He's into a lot of dirty stuff. He knows how to cover his tracks. I think that's what happened. Camouflaged himself so if anybody was to ever get captured, he was covered. He knows the Sorcerer Emperor's assistant has that brain wiping magic. Of course he would plan for this. He always, every good villain has fail safe. So I'm sticking to my theory. Purple Orca dude is innocent in this occasion. He has a lot of dirt on everybody else that he can't reveal, but he's not the traitor. I'm still thinking it's Golden Dawn, dude. He just transformed and appeared as the Purple Orchid Captain when he met all the underlings. That's where I'm at. They, they can't take this man down. Like he, This is an innocent dude. Don't go for him. Go for the Golden Dawn, dude. Come on. Somebody in there better start thinking. Somebody better start thinking right. I don't like where this is going. This is all getting a little too messy for me. But I still love this manga. This is like in my top five right now. Black Clover, whatever you're doing, you got the best strategy I've ever seen out of any manga. I hope you get an anime adaptation soon because this joint is straight fire. It's not even fire. It's fire, cuz. See, I took the I out replaced it with a U. This is fire, cuz. Anyways, what did y'all think of the chapter? Comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to all that social media jazz. And as always... Tell your mom, tell your daddy, tell your uncle. If you don't tell them, tell your best friend. If your best friend don't like me, tell them to like this video. And then slap them for not liking me. Because I'm cool as fuck, y'all. I got hot loving, fresh out the oven, but it's only for a limited time. If you click that subscribe button, I'll be your best friend. You can miniaturize me, put me in your pocket, and whenever you're feeling down, just pull me out. I'm an instant cheer up. I'll bring sun to anybody's day. But only if you hit that subscribe button. So go ahead. Hit it now.